once again, welcome back, everyone. Welcome to the Sanctuary. Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn, and our trip down memory lane. Cruising X here. If you're just joining us, let me remind you of the rules for my little playthrough and our trip down memory lane. First and foremost, I'm only doing new characters up to the Gridanian on the uh, Envoy quest. Second, I'm doing for every instance I do, I will be doing duty support only with the exception of Alliance raids and normal raids. And finally, when I get to play on Chris Valentine through New Game Plus, I will be doing so as Meteor's job in each of the promotional trailers for each expansion. So I will be running Warrior in A Realm Reborn, Dragoon in Heaven's Ward, Monk in the Alamegan parts of Stormblood, Samurai in the Domen parts, Dark Knight in Shadowbringers, and Paladin in Endwalker. Simple, clean, done. Uh, anyway, we are logging into Famfrit this time around, but unfortunately for me, I derped and forgot about the little... If I leave a queue, I gotta wait like five, ten minutes, so this is gonna get weird. There we go. All right, we're gonna open up our window. So, episode 3B, Green Bliss and the Gridanian Envoy. Um, I played, once again, I played this as Lady Cassandra. Um, I made sure to do all my job quests beforehand, so no worries there. All right, we are here. We're good to go. So let's get right down to it with the quest Renewing the Covenant. Now that you have the Moa Now that you have the Monoa mask, all that's left is to participate in the ceremony. Perchance you are feeling nervous, but never fear. Despite all the pomp surrounding the role, there really is nothing to being emissary. All you are required to do is wear the mask, stand up straight, and look dignified. The more involved aspects of the proceedings will be handled by others. Simple, no? The ceremony will be held in Miketo's amphitheater. When you are ready, make yourself known to the caretaker there, a woman named Estane. Oh, and be sure you wear your mask or she may not recognize you. Now, off you go, Freya, and good luck. <laughs> Let me just... Let me just bust a uh, major flippy nips balls for a minute. All right, off to Miketos. All right, let's talk to a stain. Ah, you must be the emissary. I see you have come prepared. That is well. I've been instructed to escort you to your place. Please follow me. Anyway. Look. The 
How does Cecia? Twelve bless her heart. I still hate how freaking terrible the quality on my videos were back then. May she find favor with the elementals. This radiance. Could it be a crystal of light? Tell me true. Has the mother crystal revealed herself to you? Did you bask in her light? Have you, perchance, experienced sensations akin to ether sickness of late? That Heidelin would speak directly to this woman. There once were dauntless adventurers who fought in the name of Eorzea. When the primals threatened to bleed the land dry, these brave men and women rose to face them. When the Garlean Empire resumed its war of conquest, they rushed to the realm's defense. And when it was foretold that Dalamud would fall, they fought with all their strength to deliver us from certain doom. Yet as strong and as brave as they were, they, like so many, disappeared amidst the flames at Cartano. None have forgotten the heroes who gave all for the sake of a realm not their own. Yet when we try to recall their names, we find the pages of our memories are blank, as if bleached by the sun. And when we try to recall their faces, we see them only in silhouette, as if they stood betwixt us and a blinding glare. Hence have these heroes come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Beholding you, illuminated by the glow of the crystal, I could not help but be reminded of them. The crystal has chosen you for a purpose. Trust to its guiding light, and all shall be revealed to you in good time. Though none can say for certain what the future will bring, it is my belief that you may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. For the power of the Echo resides within you. And speaking of which... A flashback now! to the fore victory belongs to the bold show those imperial whore sons what we're made of so far we're pretty much the same divert the barracudas bid them hold that position though it cost them their lives the yellow serpents are in need of succor pray send the white wolves to their aid the adventurers risk life and limb for our cause we must not fail them. It 
Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. I won't go down so easily. Eyes forward. I want to chat with them, but I also don't want to freaking type shit in the middle of the cutscene. We are being watched. Bull calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond. Respond, damn you. Raging bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me. God damn it! We cannot hold much longer. <laughs> Mad snake! Mad snake! Answer me! To the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swa. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Belay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it. Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions.
Logalo, Asawad, Deacon, Bet, Mubu. Imarat way, his cartoga hearts water dawns. Seize me again, feast on the only lamb rise at thy dawn. Oh, I, I messed up. I didn't have my mic on. But your adventures are nothing if not resilient. Seeing as the worst is past, I shall take my leave and return to my duties. Oh, I almost forgot. The elder seed seer told me she'd like to see you when you felt well enough. The gentle soul was almost as worried about you as I was, bless her. When you're back on your feet, be sure to visit her at the Lotus Stand. All right, let's see what these clown pockets have been saying. Let's see. Oh. Dealing with so many cutscenes is not even funny, and I haven't even... Let's go visit the Lotus Stand. I... Yeah, I do have... Conjurer's Guild. So not a lot has changed in terms of lines. I'm sure if I were to actually listen to the cutscene on the other end, I'd... Ah, you are Freya Walt, are you not? I bid you welcome, my lady. The Elder Seeds here left word that you would be joining her at the Lotus Stand. May I show you in? Yep. All right. There's Connie. I have looked forward to your coming, Freya. But tell me, are you recovered? I am most glad of that. Now, I hope you will no doubt... I hope you will not doubt the earnestness of my concern. But I would ask a favor of you. Nor can I deny that I summoned you here with, in part with this in mind. Know, however, that I proceed only upon the understanding that you are rested and well. Yep. Good to go. Thank you for hearing me out. I have written a letter to my counterparts in the Eorzean Alliance. 
Oh, I still have the mask on. The Battle of Cartano and the Calamity that followed claimed countless souls and left countless more bereft and alone. In the dark days that followed, many were the survivors who thought themselves less fortunate than the dead. Five years have come and gone, but the land and the people still bear the wounds of the devastation, nor are we any closer to learning the fate of the Warriors of Light. Yet so long as we live, never must we give up hope. We owe this to those who laid down their lives that we might better behold a better dawn that we might behold another dawn. In remembrance of them, a memorial service will soon be held upon the anniversary of the Battle of Cartano. This missive bears the details of that service. You graciously accepted the part of the emissary in recent ceremony. Should you be so willing, I would now make you my envoy and have you bear my message to our allies. Your dedication to the people of Gridania rouses fond memories in me, and I would choose no other for the road. Will you do me this favor? Humbly... I thank you. As you are no doubt aware, our partners in the Eorzean Alliance lie some considerable distance away, nor are Uldar and Limsal Minsa close to one another. Yet fear not, for I have no intention of subjecting you, mine own newly appointed envoy, to a journey which would take weeks by land. No, I mean for you to travel by air. Receive of me this airship pass. With it, you may use, make use of the skyways that connect the three city-states of the Alliance. The airship landing is situated upon the lower floor of the Carline Canopy. Simply show your pass and you will be admitted to the departure area. Before you embark upon your journey, however... You would do well to seek the worldly wisdom of Meun. Few forestborn Gridanians know more of the lands beyond the Twelveswood than she. In better times, airships were available for the convenience of one and all. Alas, the risk that our crafts may fall to Imperial attack has forced a reduction in the number of flights. Consequently, it has become necessary to restrict air travel only to those whose need is great. Such individuals may petition the relevant parties to be issued an airship pass. As you may have deduced, I myself am one such party. Yet I was not alone in desiring that you be granted pa the passage, the privilege of air trial. Air travel. Such is the potential that you show. We have no doubt that but that you will reward our faith in you, Freya. By the power vested in me, I bid you journey forth as my envoy into the great realm of Eorzea. Walk her fields, brave her seas, and strive to know her better. And wheresoever you go, go without fear, for the path shall ever be revealed to those who are true of heart. Guided by the crystal's light, set forth and discover your destiny. All right, back to the airship landing. I'll just go by way of... Boop! And then I can just go upstairs and speak with Mune.
And of course, there's gotta be someone blasting music. Well, I can mute it just for this once. All right, let's talk with Mune. Tis good to see you up and about again, Freya. Tell me, did you pay the Elder Seedseer a visit as I bade? Anointed personal envoy? And now you are bad. And now you want to bear the Elder Seedseer's missive to our allies. Well, it seems you made an impression on the great woman. I can't argue with her judgment, though. You've earned this honor with tireless hard work, and anyone who says you don't deserve it had better not do so in my hearing. I find myself praising you often of late, but Mother is truly proud of you. Short of a warrior of light, I can imagine no better adventurer to represent us. And that, my girl, is some compliment. But I flattered you enough for one day, and I don't want your head to get too big or you'll struggle to lug it around the realm. Speaking of which, Eorzea is a big old place. Now that you have an airship pass, you can really start to broaden your horizons. The sky is quite literally the limit. Even if your errand didn't call for it, I would strongly suggest visiting the two other city-states of the Alliance before you go anywhere else. They are, of course, Limsa Laminsa, the city of pirates, and Ulda, jewel of the desert. Once you have acquainted yourself with them, you can turn your sights on whichever lesser trodden region takes your fancy. The Calamity changed the face of Eorzea, and much of her now lies in shadow beyond men's ken. It's a veritable playground for a wide-eyed adventurer like your good self. Mind you, it won't all be fun and games. Each nation faces its fair share of problems, from internal strife to conflict with the beast tribes and their primals. So don't be too surprised if you find yourself embroiled in the odd, unsavory situation on your travels. But no matter what difficulties you encounter, I am confident that you will pull through and emerge the stronger for the experience. These are interesting times for Eorzea Freya. It's been five years now since the Calamity, but folk are finally beginning to look to the future. That period of great change is upon us, and you will have and you have a part to play in it. And if that prospect doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. I gotta say, the lighting above Meun just makes her look kind of sinister. And I'm quite honestly not a fan of it. All right, so I decided to do my white ma my conjurer quest before I left. I don't know why. Oh, fluid aura. Wow. Just goes to show how much has changed. Anyway, off to the airship landing. Gre greetings, good man. Oh, greetings, good madam. This is the reservation counter for Limsalaminsa bound flights. Oh, are you not Freya Walt, the Elder Seed Seer's personal envoy? We are Sky We at Sky Highwind Skywind. Yeah, I cannot talk today. We at Highwind Skyways are honored to serve you. Will you be flying with us today? Yep. I am. My camera zooms in way too close. All right.
All right, let's go through all this part of the cutscene again. Attention, all passengers. The airship bound for Salamensa is about to depart. Please make your way to the boarding gate. And I keep forgetting to take off the mask. Farewell, Freya. One day minstrels will sing of your deeds. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. All right. Now we're back at Castrum Ossidens. A blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzar. Is Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. 
But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. Uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, 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 at once, my lord. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Magitech. All right, now we're in Limsa. Hmm? Oh, wow, my video lagged for a minute. All right, before we do anything else, <clears throat> get my hat back on. All right, this time I didn't go the wrong way. Man, I had such a nappy head. Anyway. But yeah, pretty much the same as the last time. We'll go down to the Crow's Lift. We'll go down to Bulwark Hall. Show Z Zantael our thing, and we'll get right to it. I did not expect the Gridanian envoy to be an adventurer. It speaks highly of your character that the elder Seedseer would choose an outsider to represent her nation's interests. This way. I bid you welcome. I am Melvi Blufisvin, Admiral of Limso Lominsa, and Commander of the Maelstrom. Now, what news from the Black Shroud? Hmm. A memorial service to honor the fallen. Seven hells. Has it been five years? Five years since the Gallian Empire sought to wrest Eorzea from our grasp. It was in answer to the Imperial threat that the city-states formed the Grand Companies and forged the Eorzean Alliance anew. But Garlemald was not content to wager all on a simple contest of martial might. They had other plans. The Meteor Project. Legatus Nail Van Darnus, Hells Take Him, intended to cleanse our realm by snatching the Lesser Moon Dalamud from the heavens and casting it down upon our heads. 
Desperate to prevent this lunatic scheme, we marched our forces to the Cartano Flats and there met the 7th Imperial Legion in battle. Never have I seen a fight like the Battle of Cartano, and I have seen full many. But though we gave no quarter, spared not one ounce of effort, we could not prevent what followed. From inside the shell of Dalamud came a winged nightmare, a dragon the size of a bloody city. It was the elder primal Bahamut, bent on making an eighth hell of Eorzea. In the space of a breath, the legions of the Empire were set aflame, while our own armies fared little better. It was as if the whole world was burning. Words cannot well describe the scene. And yet, by some miracle, a few among us were spared. Even as I steeled myself for death, a blinding white light enveloped me, robbing me of my senses. When I regained them, the dragon was gone, and the still smoldering land was warped beyond all knowing. Were Archon Louisois still with us, he would doubtless shed some light on these unfathomable happenings. Alas, he is not, and I fear we will want for his wisdom in the days to come. For while our nation struggled to recover from the devastation, the beastmen call forth their damn primals to torment us anew. Unless we put aside our differences and rebuild now, our forces will catch us unprepared. And I speak not only of the beastmen. Do not imagine that the Empire has forsaken its claim on Eorzea. The Imperials crowd our borders, waiting to strike. Damn it all. We need champions to replace those we lost. But such thoughts are worse than worthless. Time is short, and none will save us save ourselves. It is the duty of every soul who survived the Calamity to work together for the good of Eorzea. And this memorial service may be the very thing to unite us. I, Kane Sena, has the right of it. I accept her proposal. Your duty is done here, adventurer. I will see to it that the Elder Seedseer receives my reply. You travel next to Uldar, yes? Pray, give my regards to General Raubon. Oh, and tell him the wolf has been sniffing around the stables. A private jest and one in poor taste, but I would have you tell it all the same. Fare you well, Freya. May the navigator guide you on your journey. All right, once again, attuned to the ETH, right? Whoops. Uh. Back to the airship landing. Okay, we're good to go. Whoops. Ah. 
And here we go. Off into the wild blue yonder. And now we're in Ulda. All right. Down to the Hussing Strip we go. I'm shortening some of the lines that I read only to rest my throat a little bit but also because it's all just uh basic at this point oh whoops All right, the Gridanian envoy, I assume. Would you be so good as to allow me to inspect the mists of you bear, madam? My thanks. Ah, yes, the seal of the Elder Seedseer. Please proceed. Ah, a guest from Gridania. I thought I smelled leaf mold. <laughs> I won't hold it against you. If you're half the warrior Kane says, tis a wonder you don't reek of dead Ixal. Welcome to the Sultanate of Ulda. I am Rauban al-Din, General of the Immortal Flames. But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. And now to do my Rauban voice again, or at least try. <clears throat> Cartano. I I remember bloody Cartano. Do you know what happened that day, adventurer? When we took the field against the Gaulians? So my counterparts have educated you. Hmm? Oh, trust Melvib to make light of our wolf problem. Woman always did have a black sense of humor. Wolves are bloodthirsty beasts upon which one cannot turn one's back. It's only a matter of time before they bite. So it was with the Garlians fifty years ago. No sooner had they learned how to use Magitek than they began seizing territory from their neighbors. Led by then Legatus Solus Zos Galvis, they swiftly brought the other nations of Isabar to heel. And so the Legatus became an emperor, and its republic, an empire. An empire which then set its sights upon Eorzea. But the conquering emperor is now an old man of fourscore winters. His health is failing, and he has no clear successor. Like as not, this is why the Gallians have been quiet of late. But the 14th Imperial Legion still in, still entrenched within our borders. And their commander, Legatus Gaius van Belsar, has long harbored ambitions of conquest. Were he to strike now, I fear we would fare all like so many others before us. And not only Ulda, but Gridania and Nimsalominsa as well. For the calamity brought the lot of us to our knees, and we've yet to get up. We barely have the strength to stand against the beast tribes, never mind the primals they mean to summon. We are a realm divided, adventurer. An alliance in name only. But the wolf cares not for the plight of its prey. 
the Gaulian stir, and the Admiral would not let it go unnoticed. All other concerns pale in comparison to the Empire, even the beast tribes and their bloody primals. We must stand united once more. That much is clear. And if we are to do so, we must remember the cause which last brought us together. Kane will have her memorial. We will honor the memory of the fallen. We will remind the people what their brothers and sisters fought and died for. Shall I inform the Sultana and the Syndicate? I will speak on her... I will speak with her grace myself. Very good, sir. The Elder Seed Seer will have my reply anon. My thanks to adventure. Oof. And another Envoy quest successfully finished. And with it, that takes care of episode 4B. Um, we're going to take a quick, we're going to take a quick break and we will be back with more. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned, but if you haven't done it yet, hit the follow button and turn on notifications. If you're watching on YouTube and you like this video, click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe by clicking here and click the bell icon for notifications. Click here to watch more. Click here to watch the full trip down memory lane and click here to watch the next episode when it comes out. See you in a bit.